What if you have a patient that benefits greatly from plugs, but they keep falling out and it, she needs all four. Otherwise, surface looks like trash. This sounds very much like a patient I just saw recently. And we're going to take a look at that patient. We have been seeing her for a while and she's been doing fantastic with punctal plugs. It's the only thing that can make her not have filamentary keratitis, but the plugs continue to fall out. And enough was enough. After three, four plugs, it was time for something more permanent. And here, injection of lidocaine to numb the punctum. Always another finger on here to stabilize. I rotate up to make sure that I basically see what I'm doing. And it's more for the plunger that I make sure that I have it in the right position. You see that extra liquid, much better inside than outside. Outside you would get bruising, inside you don't see anything and it works extremely quickly. Lower lid, fairly easy, just pull down, rest it. Upper lid is hard because you have to avert. And here I don't have the benefit of resting my syringe on my extra finger. And so here I need to be very careful that I don't injure the eye. However, getting enough numbing up here is important so that the punctal cautery does not hurt. For this patient, we actually had placed plugs in the eyes a week before this actual procedure, but those of course needed to be removed prior to permanently closing the puncta. And that's gonna be done with an actual radio frequency unit. And this is what it looks like after the numbing. Now my approach is to get this probe as deep into the punctum as I possibly can to treat this whole length, which I find a benefit over thermal cautery. This little thing that you see coming out is basically the backwash, if you will, of things getting closed here and then being pushed out in this direction as things close up. This probe is very, very thin. It's also much better than thermal, in my opinion, because the residual opening that's left is tiny. The patient doesn't feel any of this, and this treatment is pretty quick. I sometimes cauterize the top as well to make sure it's closed. And here, when it's wiped away, you can't even see the punctum anymore. I like how you mentioned the full length of the cannulicular system, that opening there, because with the cautery, do you see that sometimes those would reopen after doing a traditional cautery? I've had frequent reopenings and the cautery itself, it tends to be a very plump tip, pretty short, and you can only go in so deep, usually maybe two, three millimeters. This, as you could say, I can go around the corner, almost like a uh, cannulicular probing and treat the whole cannulicular. So higher chance that some point of this journey stays closed as opposed to just a short end that they can open back up because also the volume of a thermal cautery is much larger because the filament needs to be much larger.